Hey guys, this is Joel with Guitars United again. Today we're going to be doing a vintage Hagstrom 2. <clears throat> and this is a uh, setup we're going to do on this bad boy. And when I got it in, the uh, the guitar was actually wet. Uh, the gentleman tried to clean the case and uh, and all that stuff with uh, Febreze because it was, it was heavily uh, smoked. And uh, so anyways, when, I, when he, he didn't realize that when he closed the guitar back into the into the case, that the case was still wet. And so when I opened it up, it was just soaking wet. And so I'm gonna clean the electronics and I'm going to do a restring and just do a fine tuning of the guitar itself and bring this bad boy back to life. All right, here we go. So here I'm cleaning the fingerboard and I'm about to oil it. It's always a good practice to go through and make sure you tighten up all the screws. Because this was a vintage guitar, all the screws were a flathead, so it's just not very common on modern guitars. They mostly use Phillips head screws. A lot of the older guitars, the electronics need to be used to clean them up. So that's what I was doing there, just using them a lot just to make sure that the contacts are cleaned up a little bit. So here I'm adjusting the pickup height. Here I'm checking the nut height and also the relief of the neck. So here I'm adjusting the intonation on this, and this is a rather unusual intonation adjustment for the long So, uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, but I got it.
noticing that the string spacing was just not right at all. So I went ahead and got my string spacing uh, ruler out and uh, corrected the situation. Here somebody walked into the shop while I was recording. <laughs> Here I'm still adjusting the string spacing on this old tremolo system. It was tough. Just take your time with it. You'll get it right. You'll notice I'm always putting tools away because I like to keep my workbench nice and tidy. Last thing I want to do is scratch a guitar. <laughs>